guys what is going on welcome to Ronin Expo so I haven't been here in like I think a year or two I think I was here no I was here last year but Ronin Expo is one of those conventions that strive to continuously get better it's a smaller convention it's only one day here in Little Tokyo California Los Angeles but we talk about how anime impulse always continuously strives to increase and get better at what they do this is another convention that does and it's only a day there's so much to look at mostly artist alley stuff but let's go look around There's so much to look at right now. I don't even know where to start. So I think I'm gonna start in this corner where the voice actors are. I'm gonna see who's here. Probably start up the GoPro and whatnot, but we'll walk around. Also, it's almost two o'clock, 2 p.m. and I haven't eaten yet. I forgot to eat. Okay, so I'm at this Pushimon gacha booth where I get to randomly pull six Pokemon. So you guys see my base camp, but then obviously I have a GoPro too. <laughs> so I pull from here? Yep. Okay. Feel free to mix away. Mix away? Alright. Green. So we get Prime Ape, okay. All right. We got Prime Ape, the first boy. These are so cute. Did you guys read this? I drew them. Yep. They're so cute. Thank you. <laughs> it only took me 80 hours of my life. <laughs> oh, okay. Charizard. Yay! All right, Charizard. Bulbasaur is better though. The Slowpoke. <laughs> there it is. So cute. <laughs> These designs are so cute. It's Goldeen. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be magic art for a bit. Uh, judging off of what we have, we definitely have an electric type region this year. If this was a randomizer Nuzlocke, guys, we probably would have won. We have Charizard. Right, this one. Oh. Ekans! Alright, we got the Master Ball right here. Ah, oh, yes, legendary, Lord Helix. Let's go! <laughs> Thank you guys so much, this is fun. So for some reason, I've been on this whole tirade of collecting Kirby stuff. Look at who needs Kirby stickers. Oh my god. <laughs> for me, even though I like using the tripod a lot, this is so much easier for me to use. But what's really cool, I like this event a lot. You usually see a lot of like the vendors, like you guys seen that one before. A lot of vendors that we've seen prior. A lot of people like you guys saw like me pass by the maids. <laughs> it was the last minute. World 8 has our own section here. We can play different arcade games. Some of the retro games and also Smash Bros. And then, uh, okay, so what, uh, what is this? Otaku Cafe Coffee Lab. So quick rundown on Otaku Coffee Lab. They mostly do catering events and selling coffee beans online. Usually when they are at events, they have their drinks, which this is their menu. And you know, I thought I'd give it a try because it looked very interesting and they're really, really nice. So you guys should definitely go follow them. So I got a blueberry latte. I'm not much of a, a coffee drinker. As you guys know, I always mention that, but I'm really excited to try this since you know, I don't drink coffee too much. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, that's good. I don't even drink coffee, but that's really good. Yeah, that's some good coffee, actually. <laughs> so I think what would be pretty fun is there's like so many different booths here. I'll show like five right now. Five booths that I think really stood out to me in this convention in Ronin Expo. So let's go see. I'll show you guys what has really caught my eye. So the first booth I wanted to show was an artist called Newt. And what really caught my eye was the fact that they did a lot of art based off of the Genshin Impact flowers. Especially if you play Genshin Impact a lot, you guys are very familiar of collecting these just to level up our character. But I love how they made it into art. Also, they had an art print of Boji and I love Boji. Next booth is a Meow Yen. And I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but what I really love is that they have so much VTuber stickers from Independent, from Vishoujo, Hololive, Niji Sanji. I bought a lot of stuff from them before and you guys probably seen them in the money challenges this artist is called pickle mimi and i just adore their art style look at the cute frogs but my favorite sticker of course being the diet is for tomorrow but i just love the design of their stuff and they have very very cute stationary and little bags next is this artist asuka i believe that's how to say it and what i really love is their prints because mostly they have prints and it's all on hoyoverse and of course some vtubers and some anime as well but i love their hoyoverse their genshin impact stuff is a lot of cool and they also have some cool standees as well now of course the last one is the otaku coffee labs i already talked about them i'm not going to speak on it too much but i do love their presentation it really stood out that's why i bought coffee and i don't even drink coffee so there's about to be a kamehameha contest i want to see people or like their attack contest and i want to watch it and i'll show you guys what they do it'll be very interesting none of that tech mix i don't need any um, jalapenos we don't need that what good stuff come on no, no jalapenos no 
Come on. Russell Green killed it! Quick little side quest. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. This was Ronin Expo. I did a lot more this time than I did last time. Less exhausted because I parked a lot closer. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know content has been different uh, since there's still more reaction. It's been mostly vlogs. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying that nonetheless. Anyways guys, see you next time.